Here's LeBron. You know, the Heat loss to the Celtics last year, Clark, really made them look in the mirror, I would think. Yeah, I agree with you there, Kevin. I mean, Dwayne Wade was put in a tough spot last season because not a single other player on that team consistently could command the double team, much less concerted defensive attention. So that made it really hard for Dwayne Wade. On the court right now, second quarter starting for the Suns. Robin Lopez out there with Hill. Then it's Nash. Then there's Channing Fry and Dudley. He misses the free throw. Good on the second free throw. Here's Nash. Not on the scoreboard yet. The need to get Wade some help. That was really exposed, I think, in the playoffs against the Celtics. Yeah, it was clear, clearly obvious, Kevin. I mean, you've got to have another guy that can produce points consistently in that mid-team to above range. And, you know, Boston with his defense, one player will not beat the Boston Celtics defense. I mean, that's been proven. They're too good defensively. You've got to have multiple ways to attack that stalwart defense. Clark, a lot of success for the Suns against the East last season, 19-11 and 11 against the other conference. So a lot of that could be a style of play thing. I mean, more East teams kind of want to slow up the pace and can really be thrown off balance by what the Suns like to do, which is high-octane, entertaining, effective offense. Jason Richardson, who's checked in for the Suns. And that trip coming up empty, missing both. The Suns trailing. Nash outside. Lopez against Haslam. Wade against Nash. Just three to shoot. Over Miller. Richardson, no luck. And Clark, you mentioned this. The running gun style has been such a part of the Suns for the past couple years. Do you ever think they'll ever get away from it anytime soon? Well, I don't think so. Not as long as Steve Nash is That's there. True. You That's know, true. but beyond that, who knows? I mean, even after Nash leaves, the fans have grown accustomed to that style, and they really like it. It's about your personnel, but Nash makes that offense go. It is fun to watch. It's explosive. Oh! Boy, he knows how to polish off those dunks, doesn't he? What tremendous skill he's got, Clark. We see it on a nightly basis. And it's a pleasure. Here's LeBron. About four and a half minutes left in the second. Goes up. That's good for Miller. The assist by LeBron. Miller's got seven points. Good job of leading his man right to the rim for the bucket. Wade against Nash. Wade is covering. Back to Nash. Let's go with the three. Hansel gets the board inside. He's really lacking in confidence out there. Zero field goals made so far in this game. LeBron outside. Back to Wade. The shot no good. And Phoenix will take it the other way. It's stolen by Wade. Here's Miller. He has seven. And here's Wade. It's dumped off. Outside Anthony. Shot clock at two. Shot clock at two. And LeBron James gets it to go. And the Heat lead by six. Here's Nash outside. That doesn't go either for Nash. This is one of the key reasons why they're losing. You have to get more production out of your core star player. And that one's good by Miller. Here's Nash looking for his first bucket of the game. Wade picks him up. Nash against Wade. Miller against Richardson. Covered by Miller. They couldn't beat the buzzer. That's a turnover. So both teams changing it up here.
Here's Miller. Eight-point game. Pass to Bosch. Over Turkaloo. And it's Bosch. That time on the assist for Miller. Bosch has got six. While taking the most shots per game in his career last season, Clark Bosch also had the best field goal percentage of his career. And that's impressive. I mean, when you go, when you increase in volume, a lot of times that percentage will go down. But it, it speaks to Bosch's savvy IQ and discipline as a um, guy who took good shots consistently. So his career definitely is ascending. Oh, with, I think yeah. he's very much in the prime with a lot of good basketball hmm. ahead of him. Just four to shoot. With one second left, that's a 24-second violation, and they'll turn it over. So it's Phoenix now. It's a 10-point game. Here's Turkaloo. Gets the whistle, and he'll go to the line. Back to Bosch. He really was counted on a lot last season by that Toronto team. Without question, Kevin, when you have his kind of ability and personality, you automatically become a go-to guy, and I think he's handled it well throughout his career so far. Ito Turkoglu had a big playoffs for the Magic a couple seasons ago, and he parlayed that Clark into a very nice contract with Toronto. Yeah, he sure did. He um, was able to cash in while the cashing was hot, if you will. He's a terrific player, an excellent playmaker at his size, good ball handler and passer. Um, his career numbers, though, say he's a quality starter, but not necessarily a star that can carry a team. And I think that showed itself a little bit in Toronto. And here are the Suns now, trailing by 10. Richardson with it. Puts the move on. And two free throws coming up as the whistle blows. He barely missed that one. That one is on Ilgauskas. Tough interior defense means not allowing easy baskets. Good foul. The first free throw is good. Giannis Haslam, he's checked in for the Heat. Two Chalmers comes in for Dwayne Wade. And then for Phoenix, Robin Lopez is checked in for Jared Dudley. No good on the second free throw. They're much more aggressive than in the first quarter. They're getting to the line a lot more, which to me is always an indication of being the aggressor. Baseline jumper. Kept alive. Now Haslam. A second chance effort. And laid in. Nice play. And the Heat lead by 11. After getting off to a decent start in the first quarter, they've really picked it up here in the second. They're shooting 60% from the field. Knocked loose. And here's Turkaloo from the arc. It's good. Turkaloo's got seven points in the game. And there he goes. He didn't get a three in the first. But starting to look for it here. And the first half is now in the books. Well, Mike Miller in this one, he has 11 points. And you can add one three-pointer to his stat line also. He's been putting it up, and it's been going down 100% from the floor. Heat lead by eight. 